let us now try to find the settling time uh, for this case, this example that we have uh, been studying till now. So in a source-free parallel or LC circuit, uh, this is a case of overdamped response. And this was the response where we see there are two exponentially decaying terms. This decays slower, this decays faster because of a larger coefficient here with T. So let us try to first plot it. So if we try to plot it, obviously just to get a better idea, we can plot each of the exponential term separately first. So for example, this term would be something like this. Or rather, let us take this term to be something like this because we have taken a quicker decay and this term is going to decay slower. So it's going to decay much slower than this one. So if you see, uh, in fact, this will decay more than this term. So this term, this term is this one, and this term is this one, ignore the center one. So you see, although both of the terms start from 84, so that their difference is going to be zero, so the overall response will start from zero and ultimately they will become zero. So they are, their difference will become zero. But here, this one is to be subtracted from this one. So you see with time, it's it keeps growing. And there comes a point, there comes a time where their difference is the largest. So it will keep rising, reach this point, And after that point, it will start decaying. In fact, it will start decaying and it will start matching this term because this will decay and becomes closer to zero. So this will be the ultimate equivalent Vt somehow like this is a very approximate curve. This is a plot of Vt. Initially it will rise, but because the difference, um, uh, difference becomes greater, but with time, the difference between these two will also become smaller and smaller, so it will come down. This this is the time for the maximum value. So here it is maximum some value here, and when it 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 uh, when this variation going up and coming down ultimately vanishes, there is a time settling time. By definition, it is a time where the output or the response is less than 1% of the max. So suppose this is the V max, then this must be 0 0.01 V max. Uh, there will be a time when uh, it, will, it will reach this value here, but we ignore that because we, we want to find this time after which it will stay lower than uh, this value. So this, is, this time is not under consideration. Settling time by definition is the time, settling time is the time for which the voltage and even later on becomes less than or equal to 0 0.01 of the max value, where Vm is the max value. So if this is the expression, what will be the maxima? How to find the maximum value, the maxima. You already know how to compute that. So if we take the derivative of this thing, if we take the derivative of a function, and equate the derivative to zero. By solving this equation, we can solve for the time for which the value will be value of vt will be maximum so if we if we solve this we are going to get something like minus e raised power minus t plus 6 e raised power minus 6 t equal to 0 or e raised power minus t is equal to 6 e raised power minus 6 t 
power e raised power minus t over e raised power minus 6 t is equal to 6 that gives e raised power 5 t is equal to 6 so taking the natural log of both sides is going to give us 5 t is equal to natural log of 6 and we can find this to be something like 0 0.3 5.8 second. So in 0.358 second the max value is achieved and the maximum value can be found by putting this t back into the original equation so vm would be v at 0.358 and that would be 84 to e raised power minus 0 0.358 minus 84 e raised power minus 6 times 0 0.358 and by solving for this value using a calculator obviously you can solve it much more easily than I can however I have the liberty to use the book here and this is the maximum value I verified it we are going to get the same value 48.9 volts so it rises to 48.9 volts and then it starts coming down so in, in finding the settling time, it will take a bit of uh, mathematics, I think. It will not be very easy to compute and find the value of time, the value of t, where this vt becomes 0 0.01, the maximum value, or 0.489 so e raised power minus t minus e raised power minus 6 t is equal to 0 0.489 over 84 if you, if you are able to solve this equation you will get the t the time that would be some somewhat like uh, 5.15 second and even the book actually do not solve this equation it uh, uses a shortcut because it would not be easy to solve it would not be easy like this why because here we had a zero so we took the term on the other side but uh, it would not be this would not be that simple the book however used a shortcut it says that this is going to decay slow slowly and this is going to decay uh, much faster so by the time the settling time is uh, reached the fast decaying term would have vanished uh, or would have gotten to much 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 smaller value that it can be ignored so instead of solving this we can just solve this e raised power minus t would roughly be equal to 0 0.489 or 84 and obviously by taking the natural log you can very easily solve and get this value so this is the settling time this is an over damped response and all this procedure to find the settling time and all the various intermediary steps must be carefully noted uh, not, noted down because uh, they are going to stay the same for uh, the case of under damped and as well as critically damped responses um, i may or may not be able to do uh, each and every step in so much detail but uh, uh, like in the book I have basically tried to do each and every step very carefully here.